Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Excuse me, can I ask you a question? I was challenged by three of my guy friends to hitchhike a flight and get someone to buy my plane ticket. A stranger has to buy you a ticket. I'm ready. I have everything I need in this bag. When was the last time you were told to be careful when you told someone you wanted to do something crazy? As a woman, my choices and ideas are met with sayings such as, wow, are you sure you want to do that? I wish I had your confidence. That's dangerous. Are you taking anyone with you? I've been baffled by these responses because they've become a reoccurring theme in a lot of my conversations. I realized a lot of my male friends who are doing something similar are met with phrases such as, that's so awesome, what's your plan? What's the inspiration behind that? Bro, that's so epic. And when I mentioned this to my friend Amar at Yes Theory, this is how he responded. Dear Brooke, welcome to YouTube. Smiley face. <laughs> I'm so excited about your mission to inspire more girls to seek discomfort and live life to the fullest. Here's a fun challenge for you. Go to LAX and hitchhike a flight. Please use good judgment and be safe. With love, Amar. <laughs> okay. So it's the night before I'm hitchhiking at the airport. I am getting ready to pack my suitcase for a place where I actually don't know where I'm going. My favorite pair of pants, my chucks, probably these for the plane. I love shoes. Aiden's telling me I only need one pair of shoes. My passport, debit card. I'll see you guys in the morning. So we are heading to the airport. It's like 10 o'clock and we're gonna go see if anyone will buy me a flight. I'm gonna write some stuff on these signs and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Okay guys, so we're here at the airport and I have my signs ready. I'm really excited about this challenge. Guys, how do you feel about filming this? Oh, I'm so confident. Great. This is gonna go so this well. Is gonna go okay. great. I could really do it without the sass. <laughs> Asking for somebody to buy you a plane ticket and the return it's, offer it's is It's bulletproof, sharpie. honestly. You want a it's Starbucks? Around. You can't afford Starbucks? I got you on the Starbucks. Yeah, I just, just need you to also buy me a plane ticket. <laughs> right. It's, I already had a few honks when I hung the sign out the door. Yeah. And none of those honks bought a plane ticket. <laughs> it's okay. Terminal one. We have seven terminals to get this right. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it's 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 pretty nuts, but <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. I'm actually coming through this. I'm just wondering if you are that stranger that could do that. I would love to, but I, don't, I have very few extra miles. Terminal two, let's go. Delta Airlines, first class, loyal customer base. What kind of challenge is that? A hard I mean, one, what? a really hard one. I'm gonna get divorced in about six months. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would be around the world. Never mind, just around somewhere else. Anywhere, the cheapest flight on the menu. So if I send you to China, you going to China? After a couple interactions, where are you at morale-wise? I think I can do this. I just really have to find the right person. Like, everyone's on board. Everyone's like, wow, I want to follow your journey. Good luck. Dude, you look like a fun guy. Thank you. I'm a very fun guy. You can come to Australia with us if you want. Really? The The catch is, is that I have to get someone to buy my ticket for me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big catch. <laughs> ask you a question. Yeah, I have no money. <laughs> very difficult challenge. Honestly, like, I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't see it happening. We're here this Trying to figure out, like, how do you think that's gonna work? Don't know. You gotta take moonshots sometimes, Where you know? Where are you going? Anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, Anywhere I USA. See. Yes. What you need to do. But we all have flight business. You could get later. somewhere without paying a penny. If you had more time, I would literally help you. <laughs> What? <laughs> we waited for her for about an hour, but unfortunately we could not find her again. We're gonna head to Alaska, a different terminal. I'm starting to lose hope. I don't know what's gonna happen. All we can do is cross our fingers. <laughs> this is not a poppin' terminal. Canadians are nice people. Let's try Air Canada. There's five people over here. What do you think of my sign? You have any questions about it? Uh, you buy my flight. Flight. Any flight out of Los Angeles, you can pick the cheapest flight and I will get on it. What's the cheapest flight you can get? Um, the cheapest flight I think right now is like 70 bucks. Michelle? Think through Alaska. <laughs> he said, which airline? <laughs> yes? Get you somewhere. 
Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a fight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> he goes, find yourself a fight. <laughs> yeah, you want coffee? <laughs> the one that you expect the least is it, like that's. Canadians. Canadians are so nice. <laughs> we have to go find a flight now. Okay. Oh my god. Cheapest flight out of here. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to find a flight for under $100 to go to Austin, Texas. A few days prior, I met this guy named Callahan at a photo shoot who said if I was ever in Austin, I always had a place to stay. I'm getting on the plane right now to head to Dallas, and then from Dallas, I'm headed to Austin to go see my friend Callahan. We made it to Austin. Oh my God. Love sack. Wow, this is five star hotel right here. This morning we decided that we are going to buy a map of Texas. Texas so. is super dumb large, this map <laughs> is so big. We are going to put a circle within a two hour radius of Austin. We are going to drop the marker on the map and then we are going to go there. We're hoping it's gonna be a small town. Okay. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna try again. A free fall, so. Hey, where are we going? <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you, that's not very far away. So the first place that our red dot landed was Brinham, and the second place our dot landed was at Johnson City. Brinham is only an hour away. We're gonna change our destination. We're going to Brenham. What are you doing? Okay, I'm in the nav here. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on, Brooke. <laughs> We're heading to Breham. Pronounce it. I would like to buy a hamburger. Brennan ham. Brennan. Okay. I would like to buy a hamburger. Yeah, Brennan ham. No Brennan. Brennan. I would like to buy the burger. Oh, Brennan. It's just Brennan ham. Brennan ham. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do here? And he said, go over the railroad tracks. There's cute shops. So we're going to go see some cute, cute shops. Are you ready for that? I left you in the car with the keys. You got out of the car, <laughs> left it unlocked with the keys sitting in the center console. Yes. <laughs> Just food for thought. Everything in Brenham is a loop. So Perfect. if you can't find it, stop and ask somebody. Just ask them where LJ's is. Got it. Hotel. There Wait. we go. Oh, Air conditioned. LJ's right there, bam. That was LJ's? That's LJ's. <laughs> Brenham. Brenham is the baseball capital in the world. No, just in Texas. They're not Cal, there's literally nothing to do in this town. <laughs> just a small town girl here. What is there to do here in Brennan? Nothing. Like abandoned things. Abandoned things? Like abandoned houses or abandoned, like scary things. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Abandoned property. You might get shot. Like seriously, like right <laughs> now, you know, like country people, like if they they're on shoot. their property and you trespass, like you could get shot. It's like Texas, it's like allowed here. Like, telling us to go to another city. Round Top, it's really cute. Population of 90. 90 people? 90 people, like actually their population is 90. We've successfully walked around this whole small town. There is absolutely nothing to do except drink coffee eat food I'm looking apparently up. look on hinge for hot women hey you know what <laughs> shoot or shoot Hi. Ah. we just made it to round top how do you feel about it so there are 90 people who live here and she's like go there it's so great literally a dirt road and it's they the main the, road of the town and this is a truck only town homes out here <laughs> since 1895 <laughs> Oh, this is fire. We are in these caves here in Austin, and it is mind blowing to think that in the middle of the city, there are beautiful, beautiful caves. That was crazy. I feel alive. in some random swimming hole in Texas. Now we're- We did get a swim in. Because it was so icky. So, now we're heading to a real swimming hole. I'm only going in if we're doing simultaneous back tucks into the water. I'm doing cannonball. Yeah. 
I guess I'm not going in with you. You're going in. You just said you would go in with me. There it is on camera. I ah! Broke my toe. Trip gets injured. Not the win. What? Should we do it again? Sick. I actually stoked who did that air fryer. Well, I broke my toenail. I broke my shoes are off. <laughs> I don't think they cared. I cared. So it's our last day, my last day here in Austin. It is. Um, uh, thank you so much. It's been so fun. Thank you Literally, so thank you. much. Anything ever. Anything ever. How can we end it any more perfect than this? <laughs> this on. is incredible. Come on. It's the people you least expect in life to help you out. I walked into this opportunity knowing that along the way, I would fail. I would be judged and I would be laughed at, but I also would be supported. And no matter the outcome, the people around me would still love me. I was truly surprised by the generosity and support of strangers on this adventure. The kindness of people is something that should not surprise us much anymore. But the fact that it does means that we need more in this world. So I challenge you to support someone this week, whether it be with a gentle reminder that they are loved or helping them with something they feel they are unable to achieve. Kindness can be shown in a lot of ways, and it's our job as humans to leave each other better off than we found each other. Oh, a penny. Another penny. Ah. Oh, it's a deep hole. <laughs> <laughs>